Why are gray hairs like stronger than the other hairs? I never knew that two-year-olds could be apologetic about gender, but the other day my uh, two-year-old asked me if I had a wiener. He said, Mommy, you know have wiener? And I said, no, I don't have a wiener. And he said, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> So I wanted to have my sister on the show with me because I wanted to talk obviously about dinosaurs with her but also because she is, and I'm not just saying this in a nepotistic way, the best classroom teacher I've ever had the privilege of working alongside. That's fair. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But first, why don't you tell us what you do now? I used to be a classroom teacher. Now I am an educational consultant and okay. I go into charter schools um, and I work with teachers and principals. Um, but my favorite part is when I get to model lessons and work directly with the kids um, because I love kids. Yeah. We're going to do that all the time. I had to fart right now. This is our question jar. That's why it says questions. What do you think's inside? Questions. This is the issue our whole life. I say something funny and then he makes it less funny. <laughs> what is my favorite season? Summer. Duh. What is my favorite animal? Ooh, good question. Uh, not dinosaur though. I guess I'm gonna have to go with bears because my two year old is obsessed with bears. Ow. Given the choice of anyone in the world, who would I want as a dinner guest? Probably Harry Styles from One Direction. So we've come to the most important part of the day. Um, that is where I tell everyone about the time you ate a purple crayon in the second grade and then we just had to wait for three days until you passed it. But also... It came out pretty well preserved. Yeah, it was still purple. It's pretty interesting. What is my favorite dinosaur? My favorite dinosaur would have to be a stegosaurus. Excellent choice. I have one for you. I have a, here you go. We got a stegosaurus oh, thank here. thank you. Yeah, I think there's another one right here. Here, I have a multiple stegosaurus. So stegosaurus, yeah. we got the plates, we got the tail spikes, mm -hmm. we got the small head. Why, why do you love stegosaurus? Well, I like the symmetry of the stegosaurus. Okay. Uh, I also think there's an interesting juxtaposition between its sloth-like slow nature and the deadliness of whatever the heck these things are called. Mm -hmm. So these up to three foot long tail spikes are called phagomizers. Phagomizers. And that's based off of an old Gary Larson Far Side cartoon. These guys lived about 150 million years ago. It's a long time. T-Rex lived about 66 million years ago. Okay. You live now, newsflash. Mm. So technically there is more time between a T-Rex and a Stegosaurus than there is between you and a T-Rex. Those plates are osteoderms, which are bone that are not actually fused to the spine. So we always see the depiction of Stegosaurus with the plates sticking straight up in the air. Mm. It's possible that the majority of the time, those plates lie flat on its sides. No way. True story. Wow. And then only in times of either threat, kind of like mm -hmm. a cat puffs itself up to look bigger, yeah. or maybe during times when it was trying to court a mate uh -huh. to flip those things up to make a display. And because they were crisscrossed with channels of blood vessels, it's possible those plates actually could have blushed and kind of turned bright red. Yeah. Again, to either scare away uh, predators or potentially try to win a mate. Wow, now I'm yeah. starting to understand why people watch this show. <laughs> I used to be so it. embarrassed of Dusty that even when he got his license and drove his car over to my friend's house and offered to take us to dinner, I said no. Uh. <laughs>